down the sunglasses and pick up the rain gear. Unfortunately, yeah. Eric's back now. A couple of things on the radar for the week ahead. Yeah, it looks like a pretty busy week here. We start off with the rain over the next couple of days. And if you're looking for the sunshine, hopefully you got a little bit of it today because it might not be back until the weekend. We've got periods of rain from Monday or excuse me, Tuesday and Wednesday. Late week, some colder air arrives, cold enough where we might see some freezing drizzle across the interior. Something to put in the back of your mind for the day on Thursday and into Thursday night. The weekend looks a little bit more seasonable. We've got some January-ish air that's on the way at least. January in Boston, the average high doesn't move all that much. It is the coldest month of the year. Our record high of 74 was set just a couple years ago in 2020. We average over a foot of snowfall and we gain almost an hour of daylight during the month of January. This one, snow is always hard to say. It takes one or two storms, can really move the numbers a lot. Temperature-wise, pattern looks not very cold. So I'm not expecting a harsh January by any stretch. Out there tonight, we've got temperatures close to 30 degrees in many spots. We've pretty much hit our lows for the evening. You can see where this front is starting to set up right through Chicago and you travel along I-90 right over into the Mass Pike in Massachusetts. Now, the storm system, both sides of the front is going to be rainfall, warm enough for rain, but it will change how it actually feels outside. So tomorrow morning, pretty similar to where we are right now, temperature wise. During the day, we'll see the temperatures trying to rise, but it depends on where exactly you are. Now, the rainfall arrives here mid morning, some showers, but the steady stuff is afternoon and evening. It'll be the wettest part of the day. Pretty drizzle stuff outside for our Tuesday and Wednesday features not a lot of consistent rainfall, but a little bit of drizzle, some mist, and eventually the steady rain returns heading into Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. Now, temperature wise, this is where it gets dicey. Tomorrow's front is going to hang up close to the Mass Pike, if not a little bit south of it, where you could see some low 50s south and east and stay in the upper 30s to around 40 north and west. So a really raw feel for a lot of areas on the northwest side of the city. A little milder rainfall farther off toward the south. Wednesday will be similar. This has trended a lot cooler over the last couple of days. That front just diving a little bit, a little bit farther south, kind of like a spring setup. So we'll have 40s off to the north and 50s off to the south and west on Wednesday. Rainfall wise, we're looking at over an inch when all is said and done for most of the area. So it's another very wet storm system. In terms of Thursday, where could we see some freezing drizzle? It'd be the northern Worcester Hills, but especially into New Hampshire and Vermont. Even for many of those far northern New England spots, the air is too warm aloft above our heads, which means you have more of an icy mix instead of snowfall. And the temperatures do cool off as we get toward the end of the week. I mean, for some spots the next couple of days, it'll already be cool. But for all of us, getting closer to average. Ski area-wise, a bit of a rough patch that we're in right now. We'll have all rainfall for the next couple of days. And then for northern New England, some icy conditions on Thursday. Maybe a bit of snow, but the story across the country looking forward is a lot of Pacific air. Pacific air is not where we get our cold air outbreaks. It means that things will not be very harsh. It also means that California is going to get absolutely pummeled with rain and snow and actually could have a very significant month of damaging weather in California. So that will be a national story. Here at home, chance for a couple rain and snow showers on Friday. Right now, the weekend looks dry and close to 40 degrees for Saturday and Sunday there. Chris and Lisa, back to you. All right, Eric, Thank you.